Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. Welcome back. We're live on SABC3 and it's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. This afternoon, we are once again having our weekly private property chat where we focus on a beautiful property and its surroundings. So today in the loft, we're joined by Kevin Waring, Principal Estate Agent from Le Leapfrog Property Group. And I'm so excited to chat to you. Welcome to our loft. Thank you very much. It's a great privilege. I feel like in some ways, it's like having top billing on your phone or something when we look at when you watch Afternoon Express or you are checking out the private property's website because there's some beautiful properties that are Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And um, once a year, my church group and I always go off to retreat uh, in a most beautiful area of the Western Cape, and that happens to be Gordon's Bay. I definitely at some point in my life want to own a property that side. Uh, what is it about the place that attracts so many people? Uh, the, the main reason, I think, is the location of mm. Gordon's Bay. It's very well located. It's only 50 minutes from the city of, you know, the middle of the city of Cape Town, about 25 minutes to the city, uh, to the Cape Town International Airport. It's close to the winelands. It's got the, beauty, the most beautiful surroundings. We are nestled between Falls Bay and the, uh, um, the mountains. Uh, you've got the beaches. You've got the Blue Status Beach in Gordons Bay. Um, everything actually brings this together to, yeah. to bring the feeling of a cosmopolitan type of, of, of feeling. Yeah. And I, I'm quite sure that that really does attract a lot of people. People feel that they are much more stress-free, yeah. uh, and yeah, it's, it's just lovely living in Gordon's Bay. Yeah, it's such like a little, it's, it's a way, but at the same time, not so far away. It's an easy way to break free from the crazy city hustle and bustle that's there. The surroundings are incredibly beautiful, and I, I really, really am inspired by that area. It is so just naturally beautiful. But the one thing I have to ask you is, because if I look at a place like Paternoster, for instance, and a lot of people say when they go there, it's almost like a ghost town, but uh, Gordon's Bay always has this vibe, and there are incredible amounts of people there and good people. So who exactly are, are people that are living there? Are they working from there? Are they retired there? Is it holiday homes? Uh, yes, I'd like to give you some statistics. Uh, firstly, uh, I must say that Gordon's Bay consists of 80% at least permanent residents. It's sure. not a holiday town, sure. like Parter and Oster, for yeah. instance. Um, the remainder is made up by people that are actually own homes as a, fa uh. as, as a, as a holiday home or overseas uh, investors. Okay. So it's, it's, it's basically people that live there on a permanent basis. People love the place because they're proud of what they've got. They most of the people that have moved there is due to the fact that they've moved from uh, uh, somewhere else in the country towards Gordon's Bay to have a more stress-free life. Yeah. And they enjoy it, they get involved, and most of the people in Gordon's Bay are always involved in the community mm. uh, stuff. Like for instance, this last weekend, we're having the Winter Wonderland, we're having it again this week, and we had over 8,000 people coming through the gates, on, sure. on, on, and that was without kids. Sure. over the weekend. So there's always a hustle and bustle, as you say. People are proud of the place. Um, and then the facts I just wanted to give you just now is the fact that, I don't know if people are aware of it, but Gordon's Bay has been chosen for the past few years as one of the top three safest crime-free areas in the Western Cape. Wow. That is just the one thing. The other thing is we also got the whale route that starts at us. Yes. And um, on free buzz, we were actually, Clarence Drive was actually voted as the most scenic um, route, coastal route in the world. Sure. And uh, I think there's two others in South Africa, one being uh, Chapman's sure. Peak. But it just shows you, yeah. you've got this environment, this, this, this beautiful area, and that's why people yeah. enjoy it. Life, yeah, well, and we, people are friendly. Exactly. Well, you've already sold me already, so I don't have to go any Good. further than that. You know the environment's amazing. To. So I want to buy a property. Which one have you bought for us today? <laughs> I would, uh, uh, the one property I've got on an exclusive mandate is a beautiful property. Um, it is in a cul-de-sac, which is well located, of course. A cul-de-sac yes. always, always brings value to it. It's got levels. It has got levels oh. and incredibly beautiful property. Now, just to give you a bit of a rundown on the property, uh, this really is a modern split-level home um, with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful views. Um, it has also got very, very good modern uh, architecture of top class. 
It consists of seven bedrooms, mm. five bathrooms, two guest loos, three Sheesh. garages, a little office. mini motel. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> and then also on the open space area, you've got the dining room area, you have got the lounge, TV room, barbecue, built in custom made wow. pub. Um, Oh, there are so many extras I can actually actually Stunning. mention, and uh, it's 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 got really good good quality finishes. Um, the the bedrooms, all the bedrooms have got sea views, mm. which makes this 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 property really exceptional. It's almost impossible to pinpoint one thing, but every time I have estate agents on the show, I always wonder whether they're doing that to sell the house or not. So I want to ask from your point, what is your favourite thing about the, about this particular property? Do you have a specific favourite thing about it? Yes, it's actually a toss-up, but I'll, I'll tell you what mine is. Mine is the open space area. Ah, okay. Because it's got all those, those extras there, you've got the built-in uh, pub, as I said. Mm -hmm. You've got the, the barbecue area. Um, it's spacious. You've got beautiful views over the ocean, over False Bay. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you actually walk onto sliders, onto the elevated area, where you can actually have the most incredible views that you can imagine. Yes. If I can tell you the, the views we're having in the winter, are, are, if you have to take photos today, you want to frame them tomorrow, and yeah. tomorrow you want to frame the next one. So <laughs> it really is a, a fantastic, a fantastic um, a piece of yeah. the house. But I also want to mention the master bedroom. Mm. I think the master bedroom is absolutely exquisite, with great finishes, large, um, and yeah, more I can't say, fit for a, a queen and a king. Ah, well, exciting stuff. Well, we are very excited to have this property on the show today because I always feel like uh, when we're reviewing these homes, it, like, it inspires you for your future. Even though it might not be in my price range, it might be in somebody else's who's maybe looking to do that, make that move. And it seems like a prime property, it's going to sell really, really fast. So thanks for joining us in the loft today. Thank you very much. It's absolutely been a pleasure. Sure, it's so good Thank to have you. you. I mean, whenever we review these homes, like I said, I always feel like I want to start uh, putting my investments aside to go and buy one. But if you guys want to know more details about this incredible home, you can go and find it also on privateproperty.co.za. I went browsing just now through the properties, and it's so great because not only does it look at the beautiful photos of the house and uh, its sort of location, it also looks at the neighborhood itself. So you can have a look at the whole area around it, how much it's going to cost, also a very, very important factor into looking at, it that, at that, and also look at the beautiful photos of the different rooms within in the house and while you're there remember that you can only have until tomorrow to vote for your favorite design contestants bathroom uh, obviously to go and vote for those bathrooms it's on their website and you can stand a chance to win big here's how it's not called win a home for nothing you the viewer can win one of three completed apartments at Valdivia estate valued at over three million rand by voting for your favorite design contestants bathroom on privateproperty.co.za Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.